you can perceive what other people are doing, but you can't really know what they're doing. You can only see what you're doing in them. So maybe you're doing it for the money, and you're afraid to admit it. Yeah. Well, you just said you would take the money. I would... I think the only reason why I would... I would want money is so I don't have to go to the job. Well... The regular job anymore. So do you and want then, money? I never said I didn't want money. So you're in it for the money. This isn't about... This isn't about... This is about, like, being a... It's something... That's the thing. There are no words for this. You have said it's not about the money. Because the art isn't about the money, but money is about money. What is money. art? This is the thing. I'm going to frame this poem. Okay. What is the art? art is, I see it's, art it's creativity as... creativity. Yes, everything. Fashion. Mathematics is but art. I'm talking about me. Okay. Okay, so in my in my facet of it, like what I call quote-unquote art, my art isn't about money because obviously with or without it, I, I've done it and will do it. But I, I would like to be able to just do that and not label but it make not it, just be one thing or any one thing. Just be whatever it is, creative or an entertainer or whatever you want to call it. I don't even want to call so, it anything. So what is your aversion to the entertainment industry? Is the ego the fact that you have to you have to be so egocentric to like to to put everything in, in, in you and it's all about you and and oh oh kid it's you it's kids it's you they want you know and, and no it's not me they want they're interested in me because of, of, of the creative quote unquote art but creativity is an ego an ego well you think creativity is a spiritual thing yes. And and the ego wants to take take hold of it and make money off of it. Yes, no, the and ego, the mind, the mind associates itself with it. Yeah, and so then, that's then, what the entertainment industry is: is people want to is make money off of this creativity. Yeah, and but nowadays it's like it's like, okay, for instance, like old old school school musicians would just like go to a recording place, like you know, one day like, they like go would go there. Like, someone would hear them and be like, damn, you have the sound. they record, like, a song. And then they'd send their song to, like, a fucking, a fucking guy. One guy who knows a lot about music, who hears this and says, man, you know, this sounds like shit. But there's something here. There's something here. And they take it, they meet with this guy, and they say, listen, kid, you're going to be great. You're going to be great. And so they hire this person, and they develop them, and they work with them. And maybe right away they didn't make a lot of money. Maybe at first they even fucking lost some money. But in the long run, everybody pr like prospered. So what do you think it is now? Like now they're just like looking for whatever's going <clears> to <throat> make them a lot of money right away. And I don't think anything in art can do that. That's what I'm you saying. You don't think creativity like being, can make money right away? You think it's a slow process? I think it's a... To see what, like YouTube has been a really see, slow... That's what I'm saying. True creativity yeah. is, is a building process. I think so too. Right? Yeah. So, so that's what my problem is. is like they want... They want it all. They, they don't want... That's why I feel like if the entertainment industry wanted someone who would get, would would ultimately like be prosperous for them and also the person, like in, in like a long stretched out sense, I feel like I would I would have met and I would be meeting and I would be like there would be things people would see that people I talk to all the time say that you know what I mean? They say you know what man you got something and I'm like well maybe I'm free. Maybe that's what you see. Whatever it is, it's your disassociation from the third dimension. I truly believe it. You have a you have a, a tat not an, well, you just understand and focus on the fifth dimension or enlightenment. I, I think it's the same thing. It's it's this this other this other understanding of what's happening. Not like man and woman. It's like we're all people connecting, trying to do the same exact thing. Which is just understand what the fuck is going on. I believe truly, every everybody, and we we try and make ourselves. I guess then get we get distracted by this third dimension then, and we try and like make ourselves warm, and we, we build ourselves houses, and we build ourselves we get ourselves cars, and God, dude, cars have sex all the time, dude, and make cars. a bunch of money, and just abuse the third dimension. I'm sorry, what were you gonna say? Just cars. Is it like living in LA, I, I see all these cars and all these people in their cars, and usually it's just one person in their car, like at a time. And uh, 
Yeah. It's this. It's oh god. It's dude, like that's that. Me. Oh. I have a car, dude. I've never had one. Nowhere before else. LA. Nowhere else besides America is it like this. <sighs> this is the, this is not like. Dude, it's so unnatural. It's so unnatural. It's not. I don't think like, it's. it's I, not, I think about like all the buildings and like there's no trees when I'm driving around. I mean, actually, LA is pretty good. The smog is. The air is gross. Well, there's just a lot of people. But it's. I mean, it's pretty beautiful city. Like I as was you're thinking, driving, like what is beautiful about like it? The trees and like the, the it's trees sunny. are deprived of, of all <laughs> like pure oxygen. They're all like raggedy and disgusting. Well, the palm trees they seem to handle it pretty well. No, they're all car people carved oh. into the palm trees and like spray paint on them. Trees. These are living things. God. The beach. The beach. The beach looks like crap. I'm sorry. I grew. I grew up on a beach, so I have the right to fucking say that shit. I grew up on a beautiful beach in well, Florida. So Santa Monica looks like shit, man. Like. The people there, like, there's trash in the sand. Like, if anybody, like, trashed the beach that I lived on, dude, like, they would fucking, they yeah. would probably get beat up or something. Yeah. Dude, I swear to God. Like, you just don't, you don't do that. There's like, just you, too many people in, place, in L.A. You where there's, you live. there's so many people here. And it's causing a lot of chaos, I think, on it the is. street. In, in Even in, inner but there's turmoil. But there's a still. Because, in, in, because in, of that in chaos. In New York. Because there's, there's so a, many people. It's like a, people are overloaded. What were you gonna say about? Oh well, New York, they're on foot. Exactly. So the, yeah. Same thing like San Francisco. Everyone's on foot. When you go to a place, Chicago, that's what everyone's on that's foot. That's that most cities, almost every wow. city, people. That's why there's like a crazy vibe to every city, and it's always different. It's always awesome, and interesting. But here, I don't feel a vibe, and I, I was like thinking, why? And I'm like, oh shit, we're all in cars, we're all honking, like thinking that guy's an asshole, that guy's a dickhead, that guy's a piece of shit. Like, this is not real. It's not real. It's not real for me. It's not real. I find it to be very, very peaceful when I drive. If I'm balanced, the traffic is light, it, it, maybe it'll be slow, but it, it won't be bad. It's still not real. But if, it, if I'm at peace, there's never any wrecks, no one's like, ever people move out of my way. Of course, but it's still not real. What do you mean it's not real? It's not real. Being in the car, driving? With everyone, yes. It's, it's a new real. experience. But we can... We, it's we a can, powerful feeling. There's just it really indulges the third dimension, dude. It really indulges like the animal that wants to like feel exhilaration, go on roller coasters. I, I maybe I am just completely disassociated from the third dimension. I think because of the way when you were born, how you you just because I I missed out. I don't even feel like that. childhood. You didn't. You were like in a in a hospital, waiting. So what else are you gonna do but explore your fucking consciousness, <laughs> dude? It's amazing. I feel like I was like growing. You know? I was like, like, I. Yeah, definitely. You know, I was like, like evolving <laughs> in the fucking, the like man-made fucking wounds that I was. Like, yeah. And my heart was like pumping these <laughs> machines. Yeah, and you just just waited. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking learning. Like my mom would stick her finger in it. I'd like just grab my hand around her finger. You probably they wow. I wonder what that was like. What was that interaction? To have caught it on video. We have it. You do? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I've seen it. Wow. It's amazing. It's amazing. Wow. I it's it's it, cause it's like that was me, like that was my life and I created all this drama for everyone around me. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I I was supposed to I was supposed to die. Well, who said that? Uh, scientific logic. Oh. Like, Fuck that. They didn't teach that to you. That's why you survived. Well, so I'm like, I survived no. for a reason, man. Yeah, you just chose to. That's the reason why. But why did I choose to? Well, why? To express myself creatively. To be creative and create. Yes.